Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Imperator Rome as Carthage. Last episode, we took a little bit of land here in Iberia, but we had a th threat of a rebellion happening, so we decided we're not going to do that. So for right now, we are going to wait until... Really, it was going to take some time and just have our empire, like, you know, become Carthaginian and stuff, become more loyal. Because we're a bit too big. I definitely want the aggressive expansion change. It's going to be nice. If I could get a tyranny change, that'd be even better. Because I'm sure that... Actually, they don't really care about the tyranny. I'm actually better off with them. Not... Oh yeah, I'm actually manually taking them out. I forgot. I don't even know who they are. Yeah, you need a governor. I definitely don't want that. Civilization effort. Yes, it's a pretty good one. For the most part, our empire here is secure. We just need all this culture and stuff to change. Where are they retreating to? And Frege. And that'll wipe them out. So our Carthaginian conversion is coming along in a bunch of these other places. Some of them are taking a bit longer than others. Actually, there's not even anyone here. Wait, actually, wait. All the pops here are Carthaginian? Yeah, the majority. But they are not Canaanite, so we will do this. A religious conversion. Oh, and good thing this is in Africa, so we don't have to worry about any of that stuff. There's no one even there. We don't... We have a colonizable... Dominant religion is not... Oh, it's because it's not Canaanite. So, do they... They have a high enough population, I think. It's just not... Yeah, we have ones that have enough population, but they don't have any. Actually, let's... Manually convert some of them. Just so we can colonize that, finally. And we'll worry about the rest of that thing later. So they'll start working on being Canaanite, which is good. And they're coming along, they're coming along. Yeah, they're all gonna flip over pretty soon. More trade's always good. Don't care about that, don't care about that. Why are you guys starving? Oh, it's because you're looted. Don't care about that. Really, once we start bringing down this amount of megalithic population in our country, we're going to be a lot better. So long-term goals, long-term goals and strategies. Let's, might as well work on some of this now. Whatever. Lydia. I think Frygia is actually starting to consolidate itself. Poor Ar Marania was actually getting kind of big until they got split in half there by the Seleucids. Oh, Egypt crushed the revolt. I'm kind of disappointed, actually. Still this random Hebrew province, though. Damn. Sure, go ahead. Cernica. Wait, are they, they're all, are they all Hellenic and stuff? Wait. Cernican's just flat out a Hellenistic culture. Huh. God, please someday finish. They're getting close. I know it. Movement of water. The war exhaustion action might be good. Diplomatic range. Um, I guess we'll just do civil tech investment. You're probably not the best guy, or maybe you are. No, you are actually the best. God, we have crappy, crappy guys. Euturia is just isn't expanding. I mean, do we have any laws that might be worth changing? Any decisions? Oh, where's my patron? Oh, we actually should have done that a while ago. Yeah, we don't actually... 
know what? Maybe this is what we should actually focus on getting so we can take that decision. Yeah, nothing else. I think it'd be cool to form a Carthaginian like empire by the end with an emperor. But we're not even close to wanting to do that. I know we still have a lot of time to do stuff. I mean, it's just a number of provinces that are disloyal right now. Because we didn't really take we pretty much went one right after the other. It makes sense that we're gonna have to spend some time to consolidate. And pretty much all done there. So if you're all done, you're already can actually no, they're not Canaanite here. Let's fix that. Well this conversion. Are they even like an independent nation still? There's one. Really? I mean, the country probably is still. Yeah, the culture and religion of your leader don't actually matter. It's just what's assigned to it. It's like, and uh, I think it's like Freya. Heraclea or something like that that's over here. Yeah, let's embrace these reforms. Slaves needed for surplus. So now we go here to our laws. He doesn't want to have enough of that. Military modernization. Manpower recovery speed with a loyalty gain chance it's dropped. It's gonna be good enough. I mean morale of arm actually yeah that, wait. Why would you ever pick there's gotta be something else that happens. Because otherwise it'd be pointless. So let's do National Population Growth. See, are we the biggest? Pa no, we're still. Pr the score thing. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like Macedon currently is the highest score, but if they had to fight either us or the Marians, they get actually stomped on. What's their maximum manpower too. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, uh, they have almost three times. Actually, they have a little under three times the amount of manpower that we do. Ooh, Macedon actually has more manpower than us. Like, maximum. To be fair, I guess the only good land we really have is, like, this. But, eh, I guess it kind of makes sense, but we'll fix it. On with the celebrations. We would definitely be able to beat them, though. I mean, our population is huge. I don't really know how population and manpower are, like, affected. It also might be that since mo a lot of our population isn't Carthaginian or Canaanite that it might drop our manpower. I'm not sure while most of Greece of Macedon's population is going to be um I mean they're going to be Greek in the Greek culture group and did they expand the Macedon? Oh yeah they've actually been culture converting stuff. I mean most of it's Hellenic anyway. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all wait, it's all the slaves. <laughs> Turn that province Egyptian. Oh my god, it's Come Yeah, there's a bunch of comedic pops there in Greece. They gotta be slaves. There's no other real explanation. You know, what, let's keep you down here. And we'll just raise a new army. Which money are we making? Plenty. Hoplite is ready. Really, we don't have any iron. Whatever. War elephants. One, two, three. That should be good. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So we do that. Let's take some of our boots. We'll just bring them over. Hey, you know what? For right now, pay them off. Go away. You're probably going to win. And your military stats are pretty shit, but the rest of your stats are either good or decent. Proved Familia. Elephants are still being built. They actually take a while, which makes sense. Um, let's make sure you're at... So you're still in religious conversion, which is what you need to be doing. Still in religious. You're still in cultural. At this point, I'm just going to do it myself. It's close enough for I just want to get them being Canaanite. Yeah, actually, should, there's one that's not. Who is it? Boom. We don't have enough to switch it right now, but that's fine. So here's our researcher. And as soon as we get enough, we need 40. Religious conversion. And we're going to start working on making everyone Canaanite here. Truscans are going to trade with us. Good, good, good. Merge, put over here. And we'll bring you guys down here. And we'll station them somewhere. Well, actually, where are they coming out of? We'll, st we'll station them. Um, you're going to have to cover a couple. Actually, r right here is going to be the best spot. As soon until Isle's gone. Well, only two more years. Actually, more like a year and a half. Is Cilia still alive? That actually surprises me. I thought they would have been dead a while ago. Sure, it doesn't really matter which one gets it. Alright, so we'll have you guys meet up right here. Let's see. Currently 15% of our provinces are disloyal. Actually, just culture converting them isn't going to be enough. We also need to, um, because once we culture convert them, and we religious convert them, then there's going to be some time where their loyalty is going to start going up, which it will. We're finally getting there. God, I think we've been culture converting them since, like, the beginning of the game. Luckily, they're all done here, so you can just do, let's just do acquisition of wealth. Yeah, just compensate, and we have money to throw around. No, we're not at war. So, boom, and drop tap, drop our payment on them. Yeah, we want to get that technology improvement. We haven't even started doing anything here in Italy. I mean, yeah, they're starting to become Canaanite, finally. We still have that stupid little one problem with Miner there. I mean, so many of them just haven't, like, advanced. Heavy cavalry cost. Do we have cavalry? We gotta. I don't see why we wouldn't. No, yeah, we do have horses in a couple spots. All right, I gotta say, I can understand, like, not being able to make elephants. If you don't have, and, like, camelry. If you don't have available that stuff. But the fact that you can't build freaking horses in a lot of places and boats is dumb. So if you remember correctly, Egypt might not have a single wood resource. I know we do. 
Why can't I make it if there's iron there? We might be trading it away. Alright, wood. Egypt has... Well, none right now. But... Yeah, they have one. So they don't do anything. What? When? When? When did this happen? This was not there when I checked on it before. No way. Freaking Macedon. Is that one of the Indian powers? But they have more manpower, manpower than me. Oh no, just a hundred thousand less, but still a lot. Here, or Parnia. Ooh, you have like no manpower. It's level 155 cohorts, though. Yeah, I don't think they're winning. Sorry this episode's not that exciting, but we just need to take time to do this. And I don't, I don't like doing things behind the screen. I think I said this during one of the Bengal videos that... Actually, I don't know what the episode I talked about is up. But, I just don't like doing things behind the scenes where you guys can't see it. We got this religious conversion going. Oh, you're all done? Alright, switch to religious. Blacksmith apprentices, pretty good. And one of the elephants didn't get up there. So now we should start working on making them all Canaanite. Yeah, you're already done there, so you're converting them to Canaanite. Canaanite. Already being done. Getting close. Yeah, one more. Alright, I'm doing it myself. Some of these mercenaries, I think, have like always been employed by me. <laughs> they haven't been employed by anyone else. Yeah, like if I fired them, they wouldn't know what to do. Ooh, the mount. Even though we're culture converting, the amount of ones that are disloyal is actually going up. I mean, down. Makes me very happy. Religious conversion. Yes, yeah, so Canaanite is starting to spread. Once we get a majority of all, uh, even just this done, I think we're going to be good. Because these provinces are not going to be happy with us. Because I really want to start going into taking Iberia. Yeah, our manpower keeps going up, so I think it has to do something with, um... With, um... With your culture and, like, religious types, I guess. I don't know for sure, so don't take my word on it. Yeah, we have beautiful send them funds to rebuild. Yeah, why not? We can afford that money. We're making 36 gold a month. Aw, oh, rest in peace, buddy. So Isle should be annexed, and it is. And we're working on the culture conversion there, because apparently the cities were never Carthaginian. No, I don't think I did that. Oh no, they're culture converting there, actually. Um, there's still some more work for you to do. There's still a bunch of them that aren't. Yeah, I'll take that. You know what? How far ahead are we? We're 26 years ahead of time, so I guess we couldn't be that upset about how slow it is. We're still doing great. Alright. Merge... And actually, yeah, just go sit in aisle. It's gonna be a good central location for you to get to these three. 
And even if they're bigger than you, I think you're gonna be all right. So can we ever like drop barbarian stronghold value? Because like if this ends up being like a paradise or whatever, it's kind of dumb that they would just keep emerging out of it. All right, new ruler, a new Shepfot, and pretty much the same old Carthage, just more Carthaginian, I guess. We're starting to get rid of the megalithic religious and cultures and stuff. How did that happen? Must have been one of the Naraki Pops just grew. And there we go. So guys, if you knew the episode, which I hope you did, I know this one wasn't that exciting. You mostly just hearing me talk about nothing. But if you, for whatever reason, it did, leave a like. It really helps me out. Leave a comment down, leave a comment down below. I always love reading what you guys have to say. And if you want to see more of my content, remember to subscribe. I will catch you all later. Oh, wait, did it actually change the name because the Etruscans have it? That's pretty neat. All right, now for real. I'll see you all later. Peace.